welcome grade 12s to inverse question um, inverses you are expected to know for your exam all right so uh, what is an inverse an inverse is basically doing the opposite uh, to cancel out a certain operation all right so the inverse of addition is subtraction the inverse of multiplication is division so the inverse of addition is subtraction so if you want to cancel out a plus you can minus on the other side the inverse of multiplication is division so if you want to cancel out multiplication on one side you can divide on the other side and the inverse of a square is a square root so if you want to cancel out a square on one side you can square root the other side okay so let's um, look at some applications of inverses uh, in this example, you're given a cost equation. Uh, cost in rands is equal to 100 plus 5n. But then they're not asking you to calculate the cost. They actually give you the cost. And you must actually calculate n. Alright, so that makes this an inverse question. So when dealing with an inverse question, you need to just substitute into the formula. The cost is 350. Excuse me. So the cost in rents is 350 is equal to 100 plus 5n. Okay, so remember we're trying to solve n. This is what we have to find. We have to find the value of this n here. So we want to get rid of this 100. The 100 is being added. And what's the inverse of addition? Subtraction, so let's subtract it on the other side. We apply the inverse on the other side. So the inverse of subtraction is minus. So we minus the 100 rand on the other side. That's how we get rid of it. Okay, and remember, we don't want 5n, we want n. So how do we get rid of this 5 here? Since it's been multiplied, to cancel it out, uh, we're going to divide it on the other side. Okay. So 350 minus 100 is 250. 250 divided by 5 will give us n. All right, so if you go to your calculator, 250 divided by 5 will give you 50. So the value of n is 50. Let's go on to the second example. You're given a range, okay? Again, this is an inverse question because they are not asking you to calculate the range. They give you the range. The range is 70. And they give you the smallest number is 30. So you have to calculate the maximum value. We know the formula for calculating the range is the biggest or the maximum minus the smallest or the minimum. Okay, so let's substitute it to this formula. The range is given is 70. The maximum is what we're trying to determine. And the minimum, they tell us the smallest number is 30, so the minimum is 30. Okay, so let's apply inverses to get the maximum. How do we then apply inverses? And again, remember, we want to get rid of this 30, so we've got the, we are left with the maximum only. The 30 is being subtracted. So what's the inverse operation of minus plus? So to cancel it on this side, we add it on the other side. And of course, 70 plus 30 is 100. So the maximum value is 100. Let's move on to the last example. All right, this one is a little bit uh, challenging. Again, this is an inverse question because they're not asking you to calculate the mean. They give you the mean. The mean is 22 and you have to calculate A, one of those missing values. So how do you do that? We know how to calculate the mean. We add all the values, 12 plus 34 plus 25 plus A uh, plus 10 plus 26 plus 25 plus 27. And we divide it by the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight values. 
So we divide by 8 and they tell us that the mean is actually equal to 22. All right, so what we want to do is we want to add all those values. Okay. Uh, we want to actually add those values. So let's do that quickly. 12 plus 34 plus 25 plus, we skip the A, so we go to 10 plus 26 plus 25 plus 27. So when you add the seven values that we've got, they give us 159. All right, so we got 159, but don't forget the A, plus that A that we're still trying to find over eight is equal to 22. Okay, all right, now we don't want this eight here, and the eight has been divided. So to get rid of this eight, to cancel the 8 on, uh, at the bottom, because it's being divided, we can multiply it on this side. Okay? And we also don't want the 159. And because it's being added in the inverse of addition and subtraction, we can subtract it on this side. So we are left with only A. All right, let me uh, just go to the calculator to work that out. So 22 times 8 is equal to 176. So you minus uh, 159 minus 159. So then the value of A will be 17. So the value of A is equal to 17. All right, so that's how you do in those questions.